Sod webworms are small but common caterpillars that infest all types of turf grasses. Species that attack cool season turf grasses are rarely a problem in high cut turf. Tropical sod webworms can noticeably thin warm season grasses. Sod webworm larvae are characterized by having rows of squarey spots on a body that is cream to light tan green in color. These larvae live in silk lined burrows that extend from the soil through the thatch. Mature sod webworm larvae are rarely more than one inch long and one eighth inch wide. Cool season sod webworm adults are usually one half to three fourths inch long and are characterized by having a distinctive snout like projection and they roll their wings around the body when at rest. Typically sod webworm adults rest in the turf with their head downward and the body angled out from a grass stem. This camouflage makes them look like a dead grass blade. In the spring, overwintered sod webworm larvae often feed at the bases of grass stems, causing the upper parts to die. This damage can look like dollar spot disease. Later in the season, the sod webworm larvae only eat leaves, which can cause a general thinning of the turf. By spreading the turf canopy where you suspect sod webworms are feeding, you will normally find green fecal pellets called frass, if the larvae are indeed active. If you dig into the thatch where you find green frass, you may often expose the spotted larvae. On the shortcut grasses of golf course greens and tees, sod webworms keep their silk lined burrows below the mow line. This can result in irregular thin spots in the turf. Sod webworms that have overwintered in golf greens often construct distinctive curved burrows on the surface that appear as brown marks. Birds often peck at these spots, but the larvae are usually well protected deeper in their burrows. About a half dozen sod webworm species commonly infest cool season turf grasses in North America. Some, like the vagabond sod webworm and the corn root webworm, have a single generation per year. But other species, such as the bluegrass webworm, striped, and larger sod webworms, have two to three generations each season. Sod webworms have complete life cycles with egg, larval, pupal, and adult stages. The larvae undergo five to six instars before pupating. All cool season sod webworm species overwinter as partially mature larvae. These remain dormant in a silken lined chamber within the soil, but feeding usually is resumed and finished by mid-May. Mature larvae pupate within their silk lined burrows and take about two weeks to complete their development. The first generation adults emerge through June. Sod webworm females usually mate the first night of emergence and they then drop their eggs into the turf at night over the next two to three nights. First generation larvae are most numerous in the turf in July when they may cause thinning of slow growing turf. The larvae take about 30 days to mature before they pupate again in the soil. The second generation of adults are often flying through August. The second generation of adults emerge over many weeks and again drop eggs into the turf. The second generation of sod webworm larvae are extremely numerous, but since the turf is rapidly growing, damage is rarely observed. Half mature larvae dig into the soil to overwinter and many die during the winter months. Control of sod webworm larvae is easily achieved by using one of several insecticides registered for this purpose whenever the larvae are actively feeding. If the label allows, spray the turf but do not irrigate until after the spray has dried. This will ensure that the insecticide will be ingested when the caterpillars eat the grass blades. If you are uncertain that sod webworms are present on golf greens, use a detergent solution to disclose them. Use two tablespoons of Joy or Dawn Ultra or Ivory dishwashing detergent in two gallons of water. Spread the solution over a one square yard area and mark the corners. Commercial strains of the bacterial based insecticide Bacillus thuringiensis or BT can control small sod webworm larvae, but insect parasitic nematodes are effective against all stages.